a lot of different hats before I figured out this is what I wanted to do. I've actually been uh, started off my career riding with my partner here, Phil Maynard. I'm hoping to put in about another eight, eight or nine years and retire if I can make it in one piece. 979 traffic. 979, go ahead. Uh-huh. X-ray, Nora, X-ray. We'll be on 65 and Tolman. We're going to stop this car here. We, uh, the, the registered owner of the car, and they're not quite pulling over yet. The registered owner has a uh, felony warrant. And it looks like we're going to probably be in pursuit here. Nine, uh, 979. Uh, this driver is failing to yield. We're going westbound Duke from 65. It's a black Ford excursion. We're going to be in pursuit. Westbound Duke. No traffic on the road. Um, traffic charges at this point. Northbound 60th from Duke. There's two occupants. The passenger's a white male. Eastbound. Eastbound. I think Coleman here on a gravel road. And we're getting kind of dusted out here. Still he's down, still he's down. Okay. And he's still Alright, he's still he's down. Should have come up to 52nd. They just bailed down here. All right, uh, 979, let's go ahead and get a perimeter. Uh, we'll go 52nd to 56th. We'll go Duke to uh, probably Carlton. Get your hands up now! Get them on the dashboard right now! Don't move! We got the car, we got the car. There's a, uh, yeah. Here, let's just go up there. Keep your eyes on the front, Pastor. I'll get the guy in the back. Every passenger, put your hands where I can see them. Put them up on top of your head, lace your fingers together. Hey, Strawny. Yeah. Come on out. What's up? Okay, I, got right. I got her, I got her, I got her, I got her. Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me? Needles, no. knives, sharp objects? No. Who's, who's driving? What's his name? Michael. Michael. Hey, who's driving that car, man? Uh, 979, we got uh, two in custody here at the car. There's a uh, name associated with the vehicle named Michael. Sounds like it might be the guy who ran. What was he saying when he was driving? He just said, oh, I'm going to jail. Okay, all right. We're, that's all he was saying? Yeah, and then he just took off. I, I really honestly, I'm, I don't know why he's running up here. Probably scared you the way he was driving, huh? All right, have a seat in the car. Yeah, I do. But I, if we get a dog, we're gonna be tracking for the driver of this vehicle. Uh, there's quite a few cops in the area. We got a perimeter set up. And uh, so hopefully we can round him up. We got the two passengers in custody. He circled this area pretty hard for a while, man. He, like he knew it. Ma'am, ma'am. Stand back, stand back. I know, I know, I know. Just stand back. Keep, keep your hands straight up in the air, Lon. <laughs> Michael. Straight up in the air and keep walking towards us. We're not going to hurt you. Just, just come on out. Just turn around. Just follow direction, man. Put your hands behind your head and let's finish. Put your hands behind your head and let's finish. Come back. Come back. I got it. Okay. He wasn't coming out. Nobody else is in there, Michael? No. You got anything on it's going to no, poke me? Before, no, no. You got a warrant, man. So I got a warrant, but that's it. Huh? So a warrant, but that's it. He first ran in the door and said, he goes, oh, my God. He said, uh, I, I got scared, so I, I took off. I just was in a high-speed chase. And I said, why? He said, because I just got scared. He goes, I don't know why they bothered me. I Did Jesse call you on the phone? So while we're squealing around corners, he's calling you on the phone? He called me what was the, he's tell, telling you? He called me uh, right when they came down the street. Oh. oh uh, so what was he saying? He said, oh, my God. He goes, Mike's running from the police. He's got a warrant. Uh, probably some traffic felony elude. Um, other stuff that we're going to have to see about what's in the vehicle, what's going to be uh, tied to him. 
I'm glad you're cooperative, and I, we appreciate your cooperation, okay? You're welcome. All right, well, thanks. And pretty soon I'll be done with your, your rig, and I'll come by and let you know that you can come down and get it, okay? Thank you very much. Okay. Right, Thank bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, here's the deal, man. Mm -hmm. You get the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have a right to talk to an attorney. I'm mm -hmm. present while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, won't be appointed to represent you at no expense. Mm -hmm. You understand that, all right? All right. Well, what am I being arrested for? Huh? Well, here's the deal, dude. I'm not going to warrant that's it. Well, <laughs> how about for not stopping for the police? Uh, in what? In your car. I wasn't driving no car. Yeah, you were, man. No, I wasn't. Dude, you drove right by us. Yeah. Hey, I wasn't driving no Did you see us at 82nd and Duke? You drove right by us. I wasn't at 82nd and Duke. Yeah. Huh? Angie. They're saying I, was, I wasn't at 80. Are you tell them I was here? Well, dude, really? Yeah, really. I wasn't driving no car. No, I'm not. That's because the people in the car already told us you were driving. Really? How do you think we ended up here, dude? I don't even know. But, you know. All right. We're going to walk down here to a police car. All right. I wasn't driving. Okay. No car tonight. Okay. I don't live here. Okay. It's not my house. He's in there. Yeah. Passenger's in there. Yeah, we're going to need another car. Um, let me get her out. Okay. And you want to put him in, yep. in here? Yep. So bring him around that side, and I'll bring her out this side. All right. Come on out this way. All right. Is that the guy that was driving? Huh? You don't want to go to jail for hindering prosecution, do you? I'm shaking my head. Yeah, you are. Oh, okay, I'm not even looking at her. Is that him? Yes. Okay, thank you. Who was the dude driving the car? I heard her dude, Mike. Mike. What did he say to you guys when he took off, man? He just, I, he said, uh, what I do, what I do, uh, I'm going to jail. And I was like, Dude, pull over, you know? All right, sit tight. Hey, Michael. So what happened tonight, man? I just wanted to get home. You just wanted to get home? Did you know you had a warrant? I don't live there. Yeah, I don't live there. I'm homeless, but... You don't live there? Is that like a girlfriend or something? Okay. I apologize. I just... I don't know what to say. It's, I need to apologize to my look, friend. Look, people make mistakes. Just keep in mind, nobody got hurt tonight. But next time could be different. You know what I mean? Okay, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. All right, good luck to you, man. Working patrol, you're going to have the best ideas out of everyone else in the police department what's going on in your neighborhood, on the blocks that you work on a night-by-night -night basis. So if something big happens, the detectives are going to come to us and uh, try to get some information on what we know about what's going on on the streets in our neighborhoods. We're en route to a disturbance where a party's armed with a knife. Uh, we don't have a lot of details right now, but we're right around the corner. It's up here at one of our local convenience stores. So uh, we're going to go see what we can uh, figure out of what's going on up here. Okay, parking lot here. 43, I'm trying to get out. We're trying to take two into custody. Is this the only guy then, Hobbs? Excuse me? Okay. Where's your knife? Penis? I'm just walking in the store. No, I know. I'm the worker. I know. What knife? This is mine? All right, just lean against my push bars here. There we go. What's going on? What happened? I left this store. Okay. I went over to this Chinese restaurant right there. Uh-huh. He put that guy on the ground, the blue shirt, Okay. Pulled the knife on me. Okay. Come on, baby. Let's so go. I started backing up. He chased me. I pulled the brick. I threw it at him and the other guy. Uh huh. They both dug in their pockets and pulled that knife. Okay. Well, well, they, okay. So they pulled. Why'd they pull a knife on you in the first place? I what'd do they, not know. What'd they say when they pulled the knife on they, you? I, I cannot understand their language. Okay. 
who pulled the knife on you? He pulled the first one. Okay, the guy in the blue shirt right he there. He pulled the first one. Okay, and the, the who, who's the other one? That guy in the, uh, with the, with uh, the bandana. Thing on his head. Okay. Yes. And the store would confirm I just bought a six okay. pack. You just bought a six pack. I, all right. I'm okay. talking so about two minutes let's, earlier. Let's. All right. You walked over there. He pulled the knife on you. He yes. said something in a language you didn't understand. What happened this next? That's correct. So I backed up. Uh, I picked up a brick. Uh huh. And they kept coming, so they picked up bricks. Okay. They threw them at me. The bricks are in the street right there. You will see them okay. going across the street. Okay. They threw the bricks at me, so I threw the bricks back at them. Okay. Then I, it was a red car that stopped right there on that street right there. I believe they who called you. Okay. So they started going behind the store. He was picking up the beers. And so I ran in, beat them to the store, and I told the store people, they just took my beer from me that I just bought from you. Okay. And they would confirm I just bought it. Okay, where's your beer at now? Did they have it someplace? No, some of it is on the other side of the Chinese place, spilled all out okay. everywhere. Okay. Do you want to prosecute? Yes, I do. Okay. What's your name, sir? Oscar. Oscar? Yes, sir. You go to the West Side Tien Center? Yes, sir. I, 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 Tanger, Tanger, sir, American City. All right. Un momento. Okay, no problem. It's all right. <laughs> this guy's saying that he was, uh, robbed of his beers by those other two gentlemen over there. We're walking around trying to see if we can find any evidence of the robbery, uh, any of the beers. We found one already. He said they had knives and bricks. That's where it started at, over there. There should be six cats over there. Yeah, uh, there's, there's, there's a... Four, five, six. Yeah, there's a six one. What'd they do with their knives? I don't know. They chased me down that street right there. That's where the red car went in that street right there. And he turned and they stopped and they called. Well, what did they say to you while they're chasing you? I can't understand the language. They're sure, trying to take your beers. They pulled the knife right they, there. And they kept coming after you? Yes. That's why I ran out. That's why the beers are right here. I, and if you check them serial okay. numbers, the store will confirm I bought them beers just, just now. just said we could check the beer serial That's why it's right here. Okay. I'm going to walk back. You guys need in front of this? Nope. I'll be back in just a second. We're going to see if we see any knives. That's why the beers are right here. What our victim is telling us certainly matches up with what we're seeing. Yeah, with what we're seeing over there. Um, the other guys are pretty much trying to say nothing happened. Okay. This guy tried to accost him up there. They aren't mentioning anything about anything back there, and there's fresh beers scattered all over the yeah. place. He asked him if he wants to press charges. Yes, he said he does. Can you describe the knife for us? Was it like a kitchen knife? No, 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 no. Box cutter is what it looked like. Uh, uh, some sort of type of box cutter is what it looked like. It was one of them new kind of box cutters, not the old standard. He didn't say anything to you in English that you could understand? No, he did not. Okay. And then he kind of chased you down the block. And I ran to that fence and picked up a brick. That's what okay. stalled him off for a minute. And the other guy had a knife in his hand, too. Uh, the guy was me. I can't confirm that, but he okay. did go in his pocket. I can't confirm that. So he but never he touched you with the knife? No, 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 no. All right, no. thanks, bud. All right, you want to press charges, right? Yes, I do. Okay, awesome. We'll be right back, Sarge. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and take him out of cuffs. I'm going to go ahead and take you out of cuffs. Stay over here, okay? Don't go, no, like, yelling or screaming at them or anything crazy, okay? No, 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 I'm not saying anything. This one? This one? This one? Where was it? Right front pocket. Roofing. Hey guys. There it is. I told. That's what I described. Man, the dude with the knife. He's gonna go to jail. Okay, for weapons pointing against you. Basically, aggravated assault. Yes. All right. Okay. Hey Sarge. Based upon all the stories we're getting and the fact that he's being a lot more cooperative, we're going to go ahead and let him go. If you can just explain that to him. We got the story more or less worked out. We got the knife and uh, suspects going to jail for uh, pointing the knife at our victim. A uh, two-man car is nice because you can get out and talk to more people. We've got a really good shift, a good core group of people that we all work well together. Um, a lot of us are friends, so we're not just friends on the job, we're also friends off the job. Uh, the nice thing about working in two-man cars, obviously, you've got your cover with you at all times. Um, and it's nice, you know, on a night when it's busy, or no, not too busy, you can go out and prowl around and try and dig things up. And you know, It's also nice working with the same person on a consistent basis, because you know what to expect. Everybody's on the same page. We're going to see if we can catch up with a guy on a bike that just rode by us. Uh, it's a guy up ahead of us now. He was completely naked. 
riding his bicycle around, so obviously not something he's supposed to be doing right now. After seven, we'll be out with a gun and bike in front of Flanders. Is so that fourth of Flanders? <laughs> Taser, what are we doing? I'm protesting global warming. Protesting global warming. Yes. <laughs> Making people aware of global warming. Do you think maybe there's an alternative way to doing that? Free speech is free speech. Uh, but it's definitely going to hurt if you go down. Huh? It's definitely going to hurt if you crash. That's why I watch the lights and, you know, keep, keep aware. I'd ask you if you had any ID, but I see you definitely don't. What's your last name, sir? Well, look, if I was wearing a hoodie or my pants down to here, would you stop me? We're stopping you because you're riding around naked, and it's a violation of the law. No, it's perfectly legal to be naked uh, as long as I'm not doing anything lewd. Am I doing anything lewd? Okay. It's a violation of city code, so you need to give us your name. Stop. Look, this has been through the court. I can do this. I have a right to protest. Okay. What I'm just asking for is your name, sir. Okay. I'm trying to be polite. Okay, so am I. Okay. What's your last name? What is it? Your first? Richard. What's your middle, Richard? G. Is that with the G? Yeah. The date of birth? Okay. 1957. All right. Hang tight for just a sec. Do you have any clothing on you whatsoever? I have some back here. Okay. Why don't you hop off your bike and put your shorts on? Color expect that you may react badly to police and white male and is wearing his white t-shirt, clothes used no weapon. Nope. And just so we're clear, Richard, you can't ride around downtown Portland naked. It's not freedom of speech. It's a decent exposure, and you can wind up going to jail for it. Well, that has been gone through court, and the judge agreed that a person does have the right to, you know, do that. It's a good deal. Okay. You can't ride around downtown naked like this. I don't know how to make it any more clear. There's kids out. There's families out. You think people want to ride, walk around downtown? And see that? If you were down here with your kids, would you want to see a guy riding his bicycle around buck naked? Probably not. I know I wouldn't. Well, they don't pay attention. No, I just drive. Back. Well, it's kind of hard to miss a guy riding his bicycle around completely naked. Like Officer Shaw explained, if you want to protest, do it a little bit more constructive fashion. It is, in a way. People aren't looking at your message, they're looking at you. Well, and, it, and I have a feeling it's going to distract from your message. You know what I mean? I mean, it's fine to walk around with a sign, talk to people, hand out leaflets, but to ride around on a bicycle naked? I mean, definitely nobody's going to talk to you and hear what you have to say, right? I've talked You're to probably going to scare them away. Actually, I've talked to a few people about uh, global warming. You know, we've been uh, when you're running, running around our, naked. Huh? Yeah, I was out in the park, and I talked to a few people. They were uh, talking about they were talking about uh, how uh, people in their private smog machines are uh, polluting the air. We've been putting in more uh, CO twos into the uh, air than uh, when the Earth was molten and uh, volcanic. Uh, this has its uh, climatic effects on the weather. We've had higher precipitation. Now we're having a major drought that's worse than uh, the drought. Uh, since the 1930s, the Dust Bowl right. era. It's fine, but like I said, you got to understand the distraction that you cause. We get calls. You know what I mean? It, it just puts everyone in a difficult position. Right? Mm -hmm. oh, she clear. Yeah, he's clear. So, Richard, do us a favor, ma'am. Right around, protest, get your message out, just keep your shorts on. Because mm -hmm. we have to come out and talk to you again, probably going to end up having to go to jail.
Okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Area checking for the subject, 8977. So that was pretty crazy, huh? Just when you think you've seen it all. In the area. I would like to say that that's the first naked bicyclist I've seen in this city, but that's not it. Uh, it's kind of unique because we don't have uh, single family homes. They're just some um, apartment complexes, some daily and weeklies, and some, some uh, basically uh, condos that have been turned into mostly uh, weeklies and monthlies. Uh, we've got a. Uh, a call of a fare skip from a taxi cab. Female got out of the cab and uh, went into an apartment with a male and is refusing to come out of the apartment and pay the taxi cab driver. So we've arrived on it and we're going to go see why she didn't want to pay. I yeah, pulled up around over here on the side and uh, she, there was a black guy standing there at the door, back door held open, and she asked me if uh, she could run upstairs and grab her card. I said, well, I'd like to go with you. She's like, okay. Well, she got out. As I got out, she Boom. ran in the door and shut the door. We're going to go in, get him, and we're going to bring him out and find out why she didn't want to pay her cab bill. Front office. Front office. Hello. Hello. Yeah. What? I need you to open the door, front office. Why? Uh, you had the eviction. We have to enter. We put the notice. So it's either you open the door or we drill the lock open. I, I'm sorry, what the hell is going on? All right, just drill it open then. We, we put a 24 hour notice on your door. It'd be easy if she just opened the door, but uh, she doesn't want to play it. Well, she's probably trying to hide the other guy in there. Front office. If you step in first, we'll go right behind you. Front office. 586 gives a red. Off the balcony. Off the balcony. Okay. Clear that first. Brian, you see anybody downstairs? I don't think they could get off this balcony that far. That's a long, that's a long drop. I don't see them. I don't see her getting down that way. Maybe him. From the bedroom balcony, you could shimmy. I mean the ledge is this wide. You can shimmy and be right into the next apartment. So we're gonna check the other apartment. That's about the only place they could be. I, I just don't see them making that jump. Oh, hello. 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 Police. hello. Welfare check. Hello. Okay, stand where you are, ma'am. Stay where you are. Huh? You got a female? Okay, where's the female at? Turn around. Turn around. Yeah. Turn around. Put the phone down. Get her. Take her. Tackle her right now. Take her down. Take her down. Get down on the ground. Do what the police tell you to do. What do you think you're doing? I Saying no. I just told you to help you. I just you're under you. arrest. I want to talk to you. You're under what? arrest. What? Defrauding a cab driver, obstructing the police. Oh, oh, where's, oh, your, where's your boyfriend oh, at? Oh, where's your boyfriend at? I don't know. Let's check the room. Oh, you guys are not alone. Oh. Oh. You checked his bathroom already? I don't like it. I need to go in. I wanted to talk to you guys. I just okay. called my mom. Calm down. Sir, I'm in so much pain. Ow! 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 It is not necessary sit to there, hurt sit me there. like that. Ow. Look at my knee! Okay, don't worry about it. Just abuse! Sit down. Ow! Ow! I want to cooperate with you guys. Where's your boyfriend? If you let me boyfriend? have my phone, I'll cooperate. I don't know where he went. I will cooperate with the police. Where's your boyfriend? Please, I will is he inside? No, he's not in there. I will cooperate and I will help you. Where was he at when you came over here? When I came here, he was he was here too. He made me leave too. He would not let me. I just called 911 to help you. He would you. not let you. I'm telling you. He I... held the door open for you so you could run away from your cab fare. I said, don't give me that story. What do you mean? He he, he was the one who was supposed to pay and he said, I'm not paying. Sure, okay. Sir, well, you're under you arrest for defrauding a cab driver. Fine, and you're sir. under arrest for obstructing the police. Uh, sir, I you Now, where is he at? I don't, I don't where know. is the last you place you saw him? him? Right here. Where did he go from here? He had to go Off in. Off the balcony. Off the, the balcony. The door was locked, sir. I will help you. 586. I'm out on bail. Sir, the scene is clear. Please. The scene is clear. I just cleared the red. He, he may be in there. Okay. The only place you could be. Okay. Oh, that's, uh, that's crazy. We're going to drill the lock. If you're in there, 
It's not going to go good for you. I would drive you. I were you. You'd come out right now. Do it now. Hold. Yep. Go. Right there. Hey, don't move. Keep your hands behind your back. Stay right there. Yes, you ain't going nowhere. You can lay right there. Yes, sir. Boy, you guys are stupid. You could have killed yourselves falling off that balcony. All for a misdemeanor crime? Got any weapons on you? No, Pocket knives? Nothing? Stand up. I'm not picking you up. Get on your knees. Would you think we were just going to go away? No, Why didn't you open the door then? Come on out. I can't open it from this side. You got in there, didn't you? You didn't say anything when I talked to you and said an ounce. You sure can open it from this side. All you do is open that and open it and go out. I don't know, I don't know what she had going on, sir. I just know that. Oh, so you just ran because the police were coming in? You yeah, didn't say go in the door. door. In yeah, we were. Why didn't you tell her to open the door? You know what happened. She defrauded the cab driver. You helped her, so you're going to jail, too. I was standing outside waiting on her. She told me that she was coming. She right. Was and then when you saw the cab driver coming, you slammed the door on him and you both ran in. So, how'd you get out from that bedroom over there? All right, go ahead, bring me that. How'd you get out to the other place? Off that balcony over there? This is the first balcony. The second one's where the bedroom is. Yeah. And you, you just kind of shimmied across there? Yeah. On that little bitty tiny? Well, the second one coming from that one to the next one mm -hmm. almost fails. So yeah. Fell yeah. You know, you know how far that was? It probably would have killed you. Oh, would have. That's three stories. And then she did the same thing, which amazed me even more. This is all because she didn't pay her cab bill. This started out as being just a defrauding a cab driver of their fare uh, and ended up as a full-blown uh, felony investigation with these people shimming actually from the next balcony over on a, a ledge that's probably three inches. And the fall would definitely have critically injured them if not killed them. So uh, just a little bitty thing that turned out looked like it was going to be a ticket. Turned out to be felony arrests on both parts. It just goes to show you that little things become big things in a hurry. Portland's a beautiful town. So much you can see and do. You're just a few hours away from the beach, a few hours away from the mountain. There's so many good people out there in this city. It's unfortunate that we tend to see everybody at their worst, and so that can make this job very, very hard. Uh, get for a route. We're getting two callers on this, so it's northbound on 15. Looks like we got a fight here. He was just chasing me with his knife and he cut me. All right, why don't you go stare over here on the curb? Right there. How we doing, man? Do me a favor. You got anything on you shouldn't have? Knives, needles, weapons? I got, I got some knives, yeah. Okay, why don't you do me a favor? Turn around and lock your hands behind your head. I'm just going to pat you down, make sure that you're not... Spread your feet. Spread your feet, my man. So, where's the knife at? It's in my right pocket. Okay. Anything else that's going to sharp? No. Stick and coping? No. He just keeps coming at me, and he won't stop. Okay. It's been two months I've been dealing with this dude. Take a step forward. So what's going on? This dude has been coming to the pubs. I guess he was roommates with some old girlfriend of mine. A couple months ago, okay. somebody threw a bottle through her window. Okay. I was in L.A. when this happened. Okay, so then you're talking about something happened a long time ago? Yes, and okay. he comes up to me. I'm talking to somebody else, and then when I get done talking, he's, he's like, you know, if you ever throw a bottle... I said I didn't throw a bottle through Darcy's window. Okay. I said, Darcy's a lion whore. Okay. Oh, don't say that, bro. You know, if I, I'm like, no, she is a lion whore. But you're talking, this happened a while back, yes. right? This dude, I'm sitting there smoking a cigarette out in front of... Mm -hmm. Even out in front of the pubs. Okay. I was dancing at the feds just last Thursday. Okay. I told the bouncers there, like, dude, start again. Okay, so just, just fist? Yes. Did the knife come out? No. Never? No. Okay, I mean, now's your time to be honest with me. No, I just pulled it as he you guys pulled up. Like, okay. Because I'm already getting up. Okay. All right. Why don't we do this? Why don't you have a seat right over here? I'll figure out what's going on over here. He punched me just when I got there. Do you know him? Uh, he broke the window of my friend's house like three times. She's a girl okay. with a single mom with three kids, and he's like terrorizing her, trying to get her to go do it. And he said, everybody knows he's I said, leave her look. Okay. That was like two months ago. Okay. He's been like spotty, this like 
really he's like a kind of vendetta. Okay. I try to ignore him. He pulled out a knife and I'm like, this is over. It's not a fight. I'm gonna get out of here and he cut. So he comes up to you initially. You're, I mean, are you? How does this initial interaction happen? He comes at me like we're gonna punch. Okay. And I step to the side and I hook him and I hit him in the <laughs> stomach once, right? Like a, like a right hook, just enough to stop him. And he can't okay. maybe kick him, right? Pulls out a knife. Okay. I'm like, you're a okay. Yeah, I'm a I'm like, I'm getting at him. So I started, and he goes swipe at me, and I'm like, I'm exactly like this. He comes to swipe at me, and I'm like, that. Okay. Where did he get you, let's see? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, we've got fire coming. They're going to take a look at you. Go ahead and have a seat okay. there. All right. So, you talked to the witness. That guy apparently saw all of it and kind of more or less corroborates what he had to say. Oh, good. He's trying to get away from him. And it sounds like when I walked over, he was telling Martley, saw him swing something at him. He couldn't tell what was on his hand. Right. But because when we first rolled up, they're in the street and he's trying to get away. And this guy's kind of chasing him. Then he sees a police car. He yeah, goes to the other side, and then he flags us down. We're at press charges. He said he doesn't, or he... He said even if he doesn't, you know, attempt assault too. Yeah. Trying to stab him. Yeah. See, the thing with me is that that guy hit me first, and I was just defending myself the whole time. No, I understand. Thomas Jefferson, I just did right at 256. Donovan, let's the medics look at you. Okay. They, I know about defending yourself. Oh, yeah. Uh, nobody's saying. Right in clear. Okay. So. Um, have a seat. Okay. Hi. Hi. What happened? I got a spike. Abrasion, probably right here, somewhere. Well, it looks like you got stabbed. I did. So, let me ask you this. At what point did the knife come out and why? When I was on the ground getting beat. Okay, but remember when I asked you, was it all hands, was it all fists? And you said yes. I said nothing more. You said yes. I don't, I didn't stab him. I swiped at him when and he took off. Okay, well, he's got, he's got a small little puncture wound in his back. What? Yeah. So you never mentioned anything about being down on the ground. Is that what you're saying? Look at me, dude. I'm sitting there minding my own business, talking to somebody else. And then he said, uh... But how did you guys get from down to, which is down around the corner, down to here? He was following me. Well, when I rolled up, it sure looked like you were going after him. Because he was backpedaling, trying to get away. And he flagged no. us down. I mean, I saw you guys in the street. I saw no, that. because he kept doing that, and then I'd be, step back, and I'd like, get back off me, dude. Okay. Yeah. You didn't, so if you saw him, you didn't see me just on the ground here. No, I didn't. You didn't see me no. at all on this block I'm not saying that that didn't happen, but I'm saying I didn't see it. I mean, look at my knee. Okay. Did you feel like he was going to cause you serious physical injury? I'm on the ground, dude. I'm asking you. Getting socked up. Look at my nose. So I'm trying Look to figure out leg. what would justify you taking the knife and slashing at him. I'm losing. You're losing. Why don't you have a seat in the car for right now? We'll figure out what we're going to do. All right. If you talk to my friends, they'll tell you about okay. this dude. Okay. This dude has been on me so okay. This guy's got a history for aggravated assault with a knife, and witnesses are saying that he was the primary aggressor uh, found this in one of his front pockets. These are considered a restricted weapon, especially if you've been convicted of a felony before. So it would be ex-con in possession of a restricted weapon at least. We've got to call into detectives to determine whether or not they're going to charge this guy with assault too or stab him with a knife. I've lived in South Florida now for uh, in Broward County for about seven years now. The whole time been with the sheriff's office. Florida's great. I mean, you don't ever have to worry about snow or frost. I like the weather, you know, hurricanes every now and then, but, you know, we'll deal with that a couple months out of the year to have a nice day the rest of the year. 27 Avenue and 9th Street just caught a subject that snapped somebody's chain, and then he hung up. He says he has them on the ground, 27 and 9th Street. I'm at night place in 27, bend in the corner right now. Check our unit. We got him. I think no. Check 27 Terrace, and yep, 27 9th. Get on ground. Get on ground. That's it. Get on ground. Get on ground. Flip over. Flip over. I got the hand. I got the hand. Put your hand on your back. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Huh? Come on. That's the he snatched the boy too. Can he snatch it? No. Yeah. Let's try to run. Yeah. Good. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Okay. 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 No problem. No problem. Relax. Relax. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. How many guys snatch your necklace? I see one, but another guy steal me four hundred. Steve, what's he wearing? Uh, the bus, another man. 
It's the busy stop. Bus stop? Six, yeah. Okay. What, what did you? he look like? He look, I, I don't see. I just see him. And after I run, I because mean, it's you too late. Um, when I run... Oh, for it's going to be two subjects. The one we have detained now, white tank top, black shorts, took the necklace. There's another one at large with the money. Okay, there is another guy who should be in possession of you okay? Yeah, 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 are you with you? Round, East Madison. This is who snatched, right? This is the old guy named family member. How you got it back from them? Let me snatch it. You chased them? You chased them? Okay, good, good, good. Police possession of 400 in cash. I have a search in it. Where is your friend at? I got the money and stuff. I wasn't going to put him in the back unless... Look, man, look at that guy. Yeah. Come on, man. I didn't say you were smart, sir. You probably stole the candy. <laughs> you guys saw what happened? A witness is going to come and identify the suspect. Turn around here. Stand right here. And face that direction. Okay? Have a seat in the car. Okay. Have a seat in the car. Yeah, positive identification. Okay, you saw the white guy chasing the black yeah, guy? Yeah, from out for some way. It seemed like he jumped on the city bus or something. Okay. But I, I wasn't too sure he came from the city bus, but he coming from the side, though. Okay. And wait, 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 you ran to where? Here? Or yeah, come to, come to here, come to here. And I, I was coming this way, and I got to there, and the grabbing there was right there. He ran this way, so I jumped on him right there. And I called him, then I called 911. And said, okay, you saw, did you see the other guy who ran with the money? You no, I didn't see. I didn't okay, see. you just took after this guy? I just, this guy, this guy, he, he was following him, so I know where he's gonna be following in the neighborhood because he's a white boy in the neighborhood. So I just tried to go help him, you know? No, you did a good job. Thanks, I appreciate yeah. it, man. Bravo Sir, what, so what happened basically? I, I go in the bus, you went on the bus, I in the bus, and I, uh, I got stopped. I read my ear, and uh, a man still me. A, a guy grabbed, okay. He grabbed. After you're going to run, I go run after because it's really it's my really important. Your family yeah. heirloom. And I run, but it's open and my money. Your money fell out. Fell uh, on the floor. Mm -hmm. I continue to run. Uh, my friend go out and see one man steal my money. Okay. Uh, I have a camera with Fallon, but he don't steal my camera. Okay. Uh, and after I run here, right. This man helped me. This camera here. Yeah. He okay. Helped me to uh, to uh, stop the man. Okay. He, he give me this. Uh, he, Put on the floor. Right. This man run after and stop and call you. Okay. Where are you from? France, Paris. France, Paris. You okay? Uh, yeah. All but, right. Uh, I forgot. Well, the good thing is you got your family here alone. My family name is uh, G. Uh, uh, G. Uh, okay. And all my family are the same. Jeff did. Yes. Okay. Very good. We still work on the other guy with your money, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm glad you got that. That's irresponsible. I mean, that's your family heirloom. It's just a necklace and it's plastic. I don't care, but it's very important for me. Yeah. What's your name, man? Joseph. Joseph. Who's, who's else with you, man? No, I'm asking you because you could try to help yourself out. Who else was with you? Somebody ran out of that store. Who ran out of the store? I don't know. He was a little bit taller than me. A little bit taller than you? Built, more built than me. After he ran out of the store, I heard that that boy, he, he was saying something. I don't know what language it was. Okay. And I seen him chasing me, so I ran. Okay. Because usually when you're around here and somebody chasing you, you better run. So what's chasing you? Born in a hat. You're born in a hat? Yeah. You never seen him before? Never in my life. Okay, and he just started chasing you for no reason? I don't know. I guess he got me mixed up with the man that ran in me, but for if I wouldn't have ran, Fort Lauderdale, I don't know they what have he would have done, so I ran. Okay, but the guy's bigger than you, you said? Yeah. yeah. He, and what? He was a little taller than me. Okay, no dreads? No dreads. No, he, any he goals? I ain't looked in his mouth. Okay, no tats? I don't I couldn't see. As soon as I looked back, I seen him chase me, so I ran. And he was set. Honestly, I don't know what he was trying to say to me because he was saying it. I don't know. I think he Latin or something. Okay. It sounded like French. Okay. And he just chased you, and that was it, basically. What else? Yeah. Okay. And then him. Where's that man? That man in the blue shirt. Uh. He jumped out the car and tackled me. Okay. And when he tackled me, he sat on my chest, and okay. I told him I have asthma, so he got to get off my chest. And then he shoved my face into the ground and started pressing harder. All right, just take a deep breath for like, calm down, okay? You got, you got AC going there. When the guy ran with yeah. your necklace, who gave you back your necklace? Who gave it to you? Uh, no, I, I he drew up on the floor. Who, who threw it on the ground? Okay. Uh, who, who, threw, who threw the chain on the ground? This guy. Oh, this guy threw the yeah, chain? Because, okay. Because uh, I run, I run, and after he can go more far. He, he couldn't go any far, okay. And I, I want to take, I take, and men with a car run after this guy. And okay, so then he tossed, the, he tossed the necklace out. Yeah. Then Samaritan stops his car, the guy realizes the gig's up, he throws down the necklace. 
and takes off running again. The Good Samaritan came over, tackled him, and held him for us. Right. And he's the victim's right here the whole time. So he right. picks up his necklace and stands there, watches the guy being held until we got here. This is an isolated event. Don't think it's like the way all the way in America. I mean, I'm sorry it happened to you, and you know, I'm glad you got the necklace back. Him again for a year or ever. Uh, you know, in the jail, you've got the same guys you're dealing with day in and day out. So it really teaches you kind of people skills and, and how to how to deal with people and solve problems, which is something that's definitely applicable out here. 53rd and Slope, continuing southbound. Speeds are about 90. No traffic. One of the people in our sector is uh, in pursuit of a yellow Pontiac Firebird right now that's at a high rate of speed coming into oncoming traffic. We're going to try to get into the area and become involved in the pursuit or stop stick the vehicle. Westbound 62nd Street. We're coming up on 62nd now. 401, disregard. Extremely high rate of speed. No regard to traffic, not disregarded. Our tire squealing. It's probably going to pass in front of us here. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Any other cars in the area? Just went north. Turned again. Continuing in 3 4 in Garfield, southbound. Sorry. Let's move, let's move into this. Stop, 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 we were not involved in a chase. We're northbound in an alley. Uh, in the house. Okay, we're going to set up a perimeter. Uh, also need a car to 5-3 intrus to check on injuries at the collision. We ran east of this division on this location, and then north in the alley, we lost that fast. This vehicle was running from officers earlier. They collided with a... Uh, Another citizen's vehicle. Citizens over here being checked out by fire. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can not inventory the vehicle, see what it was they were running for. <laughs> hey, Amelia. You said your family's in law enforcement? Yeah. Well, who do they work for? Uh, my stepdad's a deputy and my mom's a dispatch student. Okay. They're on their way here. Okay, all right. We've located a uh, large amount of marijuana behind the uh, driver's seat. It's definitely gonna be in the, uh, the felony level range of, of marijuana. Obviously not for personal use. And we have a gun in the car, too. Uh, it appears to be a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber handgun. All right, right now we're responding to meet some other officers that were just involved in a vehicle pursuit where the vehicle's wrecked out. And uh, we're close in the area. They're saying that he's ran eastbound. Canines tracked him to the back of a dump truck. So we're right here. We're going to get out and see what we got. Stop going that way. We followed him here, and then the dog went that way. So. Is he in there? Yeah. Which, which way are you guys bringing him out? Just saying, is everything okay? Go ahead. Which way we're we bringing him? Yeah, Coming over. Go ahead, Mr. Robert. Boy, he's down on the ground. Down on the ground. All the way down. On a. We are forced down. That was not me driving. 148. They've already patted him down, sir. Not you driving. Yeah, 148. All right, roll over. Who said anything about. I'm going to be over Sit here up. with 140. All the way up. What are you driving? All right, roll up on your knee. We're going to rock you out here to the street. You got ID on you or anything? No. What's your name? Duan. Duan? Yeah. Face the wagon, man. Where'd your buddy go? I don't know. Whose car is that? His friend's. His friend's car? So it's not your car and it's not his car? Look at that. That's ones. Ones? One zero zero. You work anywhere, Dwayne? No. Dwayne, how do you make your money? Lift your left foot. Hook What's that? 
I like girls. That's what it is. They pay me. Girls pay you? <laughs> yeah. You like girls? Girls, girls pay you. At what point did you see the police behind you? Because I was asleep. You were asleep? I'm on probation. What are you on probation for? Uh, eluding the police. Eluding? <laughs> Running from the police? I told him, dog. You tried to get him to stop? Yes. What's his name? Is it Philip? What kind of car is it for? Uh, Pontiac okay. Firebird. <laughs> yeah. You got his insurance card in your pocket. You sure that isn't your card? You got an insurance card to a vehicle that just ran from the police in your pocket. All right? That doesn't look good. All right, we're going to have somebody drive by here in a second, take a look at you. They're going to tell us whether or not you're driving that car or not. And were you able to identify the driver? Okay. It might have been, like, jean shorts. Oh. We'll drive by and five, either four, do or you don't. Was, yeah. It's, you know, by his hair. His hair was in the corners. Okay. Let's drive down there and see. I'm going to drive her down, Sarge. Hey. Like 41 to 143. I was driving, and then out of the corner of my eye, I see this yellow Pontiac going at least 50, 60 miles an hour. And, like, he hit me, um, and I spun around, and he jumped out of the car and ran away. A second. I'm going to have him step on that yeah. side of the paddy wagon, okay? Are you able to see over there pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you move him forward a little bit? Bring him up this way. Yeah, that's him. That's him? Okay. You can go ahead and load him up. All right, there's guns in the car, and there's drugs in the car. All right, we're going to end up seizing your money. All right, you'll be arrested for felony eluding and the drugs. All right. These guys have no regard for other people's lives, and they bust through intersections going 80, 90 miles an hour. It's kind of hard for us to keep up with them. We're lucky to get this guy in custody before he killed somebody. I played a little college football, a little short stint professionally, mostly in arena league. Uh, you know, you're getting out here, you have to chase after somebody or get into a fight. It's just a lot easier, a lot better to be in shape so that you won't pass out or something like that while you have to uh, do the physical job that we do. Uh, it looks like a domestic dispute right now uh, between uh, two two roommates. Uh, it's a guy and a girl. The guy punched the girls, what he's telling us, and two units showed up, and uh, he's refusing to come out. Hey. You saw him pull up? Yeah, you saw he came him back. Yeah, I just seen him, like, money. five, ten minutes before you guys arrived. Okay. And he, he didn't talk to you? He didn't... Um, do anything he said to you? he's done with me, bitch, and that's about it. You guys in a relationship? No. Okay. No. Hey, Wayne? Wayne, it's the police. We just want to talk to you real quick. Yeah, can you give hey, us Wayne, come on out, bud. I want to get your side of the story real fast. Tell me how this here, please. I'm clear. Yeah. She called you. No, you called us to kick her out, right? Hey, Patty, we got inside. You can come in. She's just a pit in my thorn. I have a... Come talk to me so we can get her kicked out. Babe. Come on, get up real quick, Wayne. Stand up, bud. You don't got no weapons on? Stand up. Put your hands behind your back. What happened, Wayne? She took my car the other night. I gave her permission to use my car. She kept it for 24 hours. She did doesn't... You reported a stolen? No, I did not report a stolen, oh, but no, I, gave her, I gave her permission to use it, but not to keep it for 24 hours. Yeah, we're gonna come out here and sit on the uh, couch out here, okay? That's fine. Anybody else in here, Wayne? No, my no. dog. Is okay. All she wants to do is bring friends over here at four o'clock in the morning and party in her bedroom. And I tell her to help me, and all she does is tell me to keep it off. Wait, she... how long has she been staying here? Two and a half months. I haven't had a problem with her, but lately she's just going off. She says I can do anything I want. This is my house. You can't tell me nothing. And that's the way she comes off of me. And I come to find out I can't tell her nothing. Because she has more rights than I do. Says who? The police department. They told me she only has to stay here three days and she has a residency. That part is true, right? Okay. But this well, is still your house, right? Yeah, I hope so. We'll get her evicted. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. You know how to go through that, right? Yes, I do. Okay, so what happened today? She took your car? She came back with a guy, okay. one of her friends. Yeah. I tell her, don't bring people back in my car because that gives you an excuse to take my car again. Right. I've helped her so much, I bailed her out of jail. 
Are you scratching her back, but she's not scratching yours? Well, she doesn't even want to wash the dishes. So then what happened? I took the phone away from her. Because it was my phone. It's in my name. A house phone? A cell phone? phone? Cell phone. So you got a cell phone that is in your name, but mm -hmm. you're letting her borrow that as well? Right. Okay. And I took it back, and she got all mad and called Describe me. how you took it. I grabbed it from her hand and took it out of her so hand. So she's got it in her hand like this. And she says, I, you can't have it. It's not yours. And I go, it's not registered to you. It's registered to me. Right. So you reach out and you grab it from her? I didn't grab. I just reached out, tried to pull it from her, and she just was fighting with me, fighting with me. And I, finally she let loose of it, and I took the phone. Oh, and then what happened? That's it. She called the cops. Did you throw it on the ground? Did you throw it out the I, window? I threw it out the window of my car when I took off. Yeah. Because it's my phone. I can do what I want right. with it. I was really scared that I was on the floor wrestling with him. You know, I needed to try to get my phone. He broke the chain off my phone. I dropped it somewhere out there or something. So the chain that was on your phone? No, this is the chain that's around my neck. He broke the necklace. That's in my bathroom, the other pieces to it, because he broke it when he was trying to get my phone from me. But, you know, and then I ran out here, so I don't know what he did at, you know, because I had grabbed the house phone because he took my phone, ran in his room or the office or something. I'm not sure exactly because I was just trying to get out of the house. You know, he didn't screaming. have his hands around your neck or nothing. Yeah, around me, trying to grab my phone. I was screaming, you know, screaming, screaming. What happened to the door in there? How come it's He broke it. Oh, he took the pins out today? of it yesterday. No, oh, okay. yesterday. When I was at home, he took all my stuff, threw in the garage. The door is like almost the nothing. The reason why my is in the living room. It's normally in my room. Is that, that the room you stay in with the door that's broken? With the door that's broken and everything, and everything's on the ground. Yeah, my room was clean. He did that. He's so involved in me that that's why he's mad. It's because I'm not the same way about him, you know? You say you don't, because you don't feel the same way about him? Yeah, he, what I feel is he's caught feelings for me in the time I live here, and he just doesn't. He, I don't feel the same way, and he wants more out of me than I'm going to want to give him, you know? And now it's all I'm using him, using him, using him, because he didn't get what he got from him giving me, giving me, giving me. Okay. All right. I didn't get physical. Okay. You didn't push her? No, sir. She didn't push you? Yes, sir. So she it did you. get physical. But I didn't push her back. Well, you said it didn't get physical, but now you're saying well, that's that she not pushed. physical. Push? What's a push? It's that's physical. physical. That's physical okay, contact. Whatever. Well, it's physical then, I guess. You just told me that um, you didn't appreciate her bringing guys over and stuff like that. And then she would yell at you and stuff, and you know, and she would curse you out. And she said that she had right to this and right to that. And so how come you hadn't filed for an eviction? She's only been here two months, a little over two months. Well, then if she was that much of a heartache a month and a half ago, how come she you She wasn't that a month and a half ago. That's so she just started this pretty much. She started much. this. Okay. Hey, Wayne, can you stand up for me, please? Yeah. You don't have guns? Back, back, I do like have guns. Back, no, not on me. Not on you. Let me paint you, please. Okay, right now you're under arrest for domestic battery, okay? Now you said you didn't hit her, but she said you did, and she has red marks on her chest. So. She has red marks because she pokes at her face all the time, and she's worn out for her wrist right now, too. Okay. There's no one I hear this way, please? I knew this was going to happen. It's okay, you fine right there? Fine. Okay. Regardless of whose phone it is, whether or not it's his or whether or not it's hers, she's in the process of calling 911 for our assistance. And he's reaching out, grabbing it from her. Of course. So. He'll go for domestic battery. And hopefully when he gets out, he'll go through that eviction process and get on with his life. And she can get on with hers. You know, when I was 16, growing up, I had my car stereo stolen out of my car. And uh, it kind of lit a fire under me because out here we have some hardworking people that bust their tails to get what they've got. And then you got these criminal guys coming behind them and just taking it for free and taking advantage of them. And so... Hopefully I can get out here and put a dent on it. Right now we're behind a, a white Chevy Blazer with a tag expiring. We're going to pull them over see if we can find anything else going on with them tonight. Yeah, Vines, I did find some history at one of the houses nearby at 860 Lower Mill Road, but that was from February of this year. An assault. Try 10 traffic stop. DL on a white Chevy Blazer occupied twice, I was. Hey guys, what's going on today? Okay, the reason I pulled you over, guys, you got a, your tag's a little bit out of date back here. Okay, I thought I had to the end of the month. No, it says uh, it comes back as expired to July 9th. Oh, shoot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Is that your information, uh -huh. sir? Uh-huh. This is your mom's vehicle? Yeah. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Where y'all coming from today, man? Oh, I'm coming from my house. Okay. Fine Street. You want to come back here and speak to me for a minute, sir? About what's going on? Says there's a white male, heavy set wearing glasses, walking north on Market, carrying a knife and yelling at people. Okay. You said this is your mother's vehicle, is that correct? Okay. Let me ask you something real fast, okay? Is it anything about you particular? Do you have anything illegal on you? No, okay. Okay. You mind if I check? Sure. Okay. Can you come back here and talk to me real fast? Negative. They're about to nag. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's go over this story one more time. I just want to clarify what's going on, okay? Okay. Where are y'all coming from tonight? Uh, I'm coming from actually over there. The party over there. Where's over there? The um, They're also advising oh, that they've turned down the first row to the left the past Walgreens. Okay. What's, what's going on over there? I mean, why'd y'all get out over there? Oh, I went over there to borrow a lawnmower. A lawnmower? Yeah. Is a lawnmower in here? No. Okay. So what happened with that? Let me use it. So. let you use it? Uh -uh. Who's he? Dude. Dude? Do you know yeah. dude's name? Yeah. What's his name? His name is Russ. His Russ? Yeah. Okay. How do you know Russ? I sold him a car. You sold him a, a car? Long time ago. Yeah. Okay. How long ago was that? Do you remember? Uh, probably a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're in the area. Is there anything illegal in the vehicle that you know of? No, there's not. Okay. Do you mind if I search it? Sure. Okay. Sure. Selena gets the hood for me. I'm going to go ahead and get him out. Normal on main. Rich is normal on main. Hey, Davey, can you come back here and talk to me for a minute, please? I just want to make sure I'm getting everything correct, okay? So I'm going to ask you the same things I asked him, okay? Okay. What's going on tonight, man? Where y'all coming from? Vine Street. From Vine Street? Yeah. Did y'all stop anywhere along the way? Mm -hmm. Anything like that? We'll get a lot of the dude's house water along the way. First off, you know, the reason I pulled y'all over, your tag expired, okay? okay. Uh, the problem is this gentleman's house over here that y'all said you went to, okay? He's a known drug dealer. Okay. Okay. So I'm not saying you guys are doing drugs, but you got to stop the good to get out with the bad. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's why it's going to the lengths it's going. You know okay. what I'm saying? So the driver already gave me consent to search the vehicle, but is there anything illegal in there that you know about? Nope. Anything like that? Okay. All right. Just hang tight for me for a minute, okay? okay? Their stories match up. They both advised that they were over at a different house trying to borrow a lawnmower. Um, however, the time of night, it's uh, you know close to 1040 at night. There's really no reason to be trying to borrow a lawnmower. Look in the little cassette tape here. Oh, we got a little baggie with some crack here. Hey, go ahead and turn around for me. Okay. I have a feeling you know what's going on, but I'll explain it to you here in a minute, okay? okay. Arrest for alligator tag. I'm gonna explain everything to you here in a minute, okay? okay? Right now, you need to know you have the right to remain silent, okay? Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. So there's some crack in the middle console. Is it yours? No. It's not your crack? No. Okay. I'm going to wait for him to get it out, and I'm going to ask your friend what's going on. I'm going to come talk to David. David, let me ask you a question. And I'm gonna explain it to you just like I did your friend over here. There's some crack in the middle console. Does that crack belong to you? No, sir. You're positive that crack's not yours? I know it's not, sir. Okay. Did they say it's theirs? They're both fine. Hey, dude, li listen up, guys. The worst thing you can do to us is lie to us, okay? That is a single hit of crack. You know, that's pretty much a ticket. You know, the only thing you gotta do is tell us the truth. The, the moment we catch you in a lie, we're just not going to believe anything you have to say, okay? Own up to it, guys. Whose crack is it? Just be honest with us. I can see the I can see I've, the marks I've, on your fingers. I, I've had several people in my truck. You know, I've gave people rides, so maybe I should. Dude, no, I'm hey, fine. Before we go any further, we'll explain this to you, okay? Just because if it's your crack and you don't own up to it, doesn't make it go away, okay? If we can't well, I, I don't listen to me. Saying. I'm not trying to admit, I'm not trying to get you to admit to something that's not yours, you see what I'm saying? But I'm letting you know, if it is one of y'all's and y'all are just saying, oh, if I tell them it's not mine, it'll go away. That's not how it works. We know what the house is. We know the guy there. We know you didn't go there to borrow a, a lawnmower at 1030 at night. We know what the guy does. Why do you think we watch the house? Why do we think we know we knew exactly what you were doing? Dude, we're not idiots. All right? We'll put them in the cars and we'll check it more thoroughly, make sure there's nothing else in there. Okay, man, come back here. You're going to have a seat in this car for me, okay? Have a seat for me.
Right now, we're going to check the vehicle, see if there's any other paraphernalia or anything else in there that would help in the uh, consumption of this crack rock. This is going to be about a uh, 